Uh, yeah, it's obviously pretty special. It wasn't something that I think I thought might happen today going into it. I think we were under a lot of pressure um, and we were just trying to take it ball by ball and bat for as long as we could. Um, to get a great, I don't know, personal reward like that is very special, but I think the team are in a great position now as well. So I think we're definitely looking forward to tomorrow. I think we showed that, yeah, even Mark Adair's little cameo there at the end just showed you that we go the whole way down. I think even though we were under pressure at the top, I think we have that depth and some excellent players have spin there down the, the back end of the order. Um, so yeah, so I think we still, I know we only have two wickets left, but Andy's batting beautifully, so we're not, we're still thinking about extending that lead and hopefully I think getting a good go at Bangladesh tomorrow. I know he's had two serious days in the dirt. He's long, I'd say he's, he's, he's tired now, I'd say he needs a big rest tonight, but he's put in a serious performance and I think he, he knows he has more to do tomorrow. Yeah, I think you just, you're trying to get into a space where you think you can, you can bat for long periods. I think it's, the tempo is something that I think we're not quite used to. We haven't played that much multi, multi-day cricket. So um, it's just trying to slow down and not being afraid of, of a dot ball or a maiden or a series of maidens in a row. I think that's just trying to get into that mindset of things happening a bit slower. I think that, I know the temperature is hot and stuff, but I think once you get into that mindset, you kind of forget about the, the weather a bit. Yeah, I know the umpires were on our case a bit, so we <laughs> were trying to draw it out as long as we could, but no, we were very happy. Yeah, I think just with test cricket, I think we were kind of recognising that there are different tempos to the innings, that you can go up and down gears each at a time. It's not like T20 cricket where you're always trying to go as fast as you can. Um, I think last night was a, a great example of a period where all you had to do was get through, his runs didn't really matter. Um, and we did, and the lads batted beautifully. I think again this morning, it was just trying to get in and, and take our time, and then hopefully as the day goes on and Bangladesh tire, that you can take advantage of that and try and increase your scoring rate. I think it worked pretty well today. Um, so I think it'll be kind of a template for us going forward. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Bangladesh spinners are very accurate, so I felt like it was going to be hard to score more than two or three and over against them. I felt like there was an opportunity to score against the seamers with the field up. Um, and I think that was just something I was trying to take advantage of and I was lucky enough to be able to do it today. How special was it? Yeah, it's brilliant. Uh, it's our first test match in Bangladesh and uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing. It wasn't something I thought, like I said to Ian, that what happened today, but it's, it has and it's, it's pretty special for, for me and for our team, I think. Uh, yeah, the wicket's still playing pretty well. I think looking at us going forward, we're probably hoping that it breaks up a little bit more. I don't know, maybe something magical happened overnight because we're gonna we know we have to bowl on it now and take another ten wickets to win this game tomorrow. Um, hopefully we can add some more to our score and, and hope and give Bangladesh, I suppose, a, a real target to chase. Um, we think that all the pressure's on them now. We've batted well today and now hopefully we can bowl well tomorrow. How many targets will be tough for one of this? Uh, we're at one thirty at the moment, I think anything up near one seventy, one eighty plus I think we'll be pretty happy with uh, so another forty or fifty runs. Uh, and we think we can we can work with that. Do you have a belief to win this game? I think so, yeah. It's come uh, quite a swing from, from last night when we were under pressure and we were just trying to survive. Um, but that's the beauty of test cricket. I think we're learning that as we go. We don't have much experience, but we realise that all you have to do is just dig in for periods of time and that you can have success. And, and now we're looking at that and we've got nearly the advantage going into tomorrow. What? Yeah, I think, it's, I think we're just trying to keep things right, really simple. Um, T20 cricket and ODI cricket, there can be a lot of forward planning and matchups and stuff, but I think test cricket, it's all about, about you and what you do well. I think it's trying to stick to your strengths and defend well, because we know how accurate Bangladesh are. They don't, they don't give you that many bad balls. I think it's about wearing them down, tiring them out. Um, and that was our plan. I think we were able to do that. I think the conditions were tough. It was a hot day. Um, so I think we were just hoping to, to grind them out more. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I think we're, we'll hopefully have more days like that. We've, this is our first test of four in a run now, um, and potentially another one at the back end of the year in Zimbabwe. So that's five in a year, I think, um, which is a lot more than we've had. Um, I think it's just trying to build on any success that we can have. I think Bangladesh are they're the ones that are under pressure now. They're the ones that have to win this game tomorrow. Um, so we're just hoping to try and take advantage of that, I think. He bowled beautifully last night. Yeah, I can't say I was too disappointed that he didn't bowl so much today. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I'm not going to question their, any of their decisions. <laughs> I think so, yeah. I think it was something that, and the general consensus among the group is that we really enjoyed the last few days. It's, it's completely different to what we're used to. We're so used to T20 cricket and 50 over cricket, which is so much faster. It's a completely different mindset. I think it's something the lads have really enjoyed. So obviously we're looking forward to the, the rest of this test match and then the more test matches that we have to come. Uh, yeah, maybe I think the last T20 was, was excellent as well. I think we know we've been... Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think that's a fair point. I think we've, we've come back from from a really tough position. I think 
it's something to be really proud of for our team and for our whole group. Um, yeah, we've had some tough days in this tour so far, and I think we you haven't had much success, and Bangladesh have played really well. So I think just to, to get one back for us as a group, I know to add that as well to the T20 cricket, I think we think we're showing that we can come to these places and put in performances. I think. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I like to think that. Just in general, I don't like being too high or being too low. I think it's just nice to be trying consistent the whole time with, with cricket and with life. So um, it's obviously a great day, and I think it's just trying to to enjoy it for what it is, and, and hopefully there are more to come.